Hi, this is James Shokin, host of Webcomics Reviews and Interviews. Today, we're looking at easy convention recipes, so sit back, relax, and let the Geek Fest begin. One of the things a lot of people tend to forget about when it comes to prepping and planning for the convention is they forget about food. Obviously, you can get a little bit of food while you're there at the convention, but it's usually going to be a lot more expensive than what you're planning for. And sure, you can go to the restaurants and convenience stores around it, but you probably want to avoid doing that just because of, well, unfamiliarity with the area. And there's obviously going to be some minor safety issues. Obviously, you're going to be planning for some meals with friends, but generally speaking, you're probably going to be doing a lot of eating in your room. The good news is that you have a refrigerator for storing the food and you have a microwave for prepping it. However, there are some ways to take advantage of the fact that you've only got those two things and by bringing a few things in. We're going to be talking about how to do that and actually make your life a lot easier when you're in the convention room. First off, you want to develop some sort of meal kit. All this is essentially is a bowl, a spoon, a knife, fork, maybe chopsticks, and a few basic seasoning. You know, your salt, your pepper, plus whatever hot sauce you happen to like. Make sure you always have those, and they're always easy to grab. You don't have to have them brand new every time. Sometimes you just want an old kit that you can basically just stuff in the backpack and you're good to go. That's fine. This will cost you a couple bucks, especially if you happen to hit up a military surplus store on the way out of town. Obviously, make sure everything is washed when you get it. You don't want to have to wash it there at the convention. At the convention, make sure you've got a little bit of dish soap. Just a, one of those itty-bitty 99-cent bottles of work. Basically, you want to make sure that you have something to wash your stuff out when you're actually there at the convention. Uh, a little dish rag is definitely going to help. Maybe something to wipe the stuff down with. But you're not going to need much. Also, make sure that you have a non-metallic bowl for the microwave. Obviously, if you're using a military surplus meal kit, it's going to be mostly metallic, and that's great for eating, but not so much if you're going to stuff it into a microwave. Metal, microwave, never a good mix. You may want to do a little bit of prep before you leave the house. Basically, if you know you're going to be wanting chopped up vegetables or other prep ingredients, make sure you do those before you leave the house. It's always good to have a couple of little things like some onions in a bag, some green onions in a bag, maybe even some tomatoes cucumbers, that sort of thing. Basically, anything that you can really chop up quickly, throw into a Ziploc bag, and again, throw into your backpack. You're good to go. You don't need much. Most people are going to be there for like two or three days. Some people only one. So obviously, the only prep amount of food you're going to need. Also, while you're doing the prep, keep in mind that soups and salads are definitely going to be your big thing mainly because it's really easy to fix a soup or a salad right there on the go. You know, you take some of those chopped up stuff, Put them into a bowl, throw some salad dressing on it, and you've got a good meal. Keep in mind, of course, that you want to basically make sure there's a variety of vegetables, not just this lettuce, and you want to throw in some sort of protein in there as well. If you don't mind some dairy, some cheese, and you can pretty much throw anything in the salad you want. I'm just recommending that you're definitely going to want some carbs, so make sure there's lots of croutons. Uh, make sure there's some protein to keep you going, and you want a good variety of vegetables and other stuff in the actual bowl. Do that, hey, your salad's good to go, and it took you maybe 10, 15 minutes to prep at home, and you throw it in the fridge when you get to the actual convention, and it's good and ready for you whenever you want it. Sandwiches are going to be another really great fix. I mean, there's a thousand and one ways to do a sandwich. All you need is two pieces of bread and something between the two bread. You, obviously, peanut butter and jelly is going to be a go-to. Mainly because the jelly and peanut butter can pretty much stay out and you don't need to refrigerate them. But you can have a lot more fun with it than just that. You can do meats and cheeses. You can do vegetables. You can do a lot of weird stuff. You can actually throw some fried tofu. You don't have to rely on just good old-fashioned white bread. You can go wheat bread. You can go naan. You can even use tortillas. Straight up. Yeah, I really like the concept of the tortilla, especially in Syria. It makes some really great burritos. Uh, note on tofu. Tofu is also going to be one of those things you want to prep at home. You want to fry it up in the right shape and then just make sure it's ready to go. You do not want to have to deal with it once you're on the road. Yeah, I know. Tofu raw is not necessarily the world's worst thing, but it's not the world's greatest thing either. So make sure you fry it up before you leave, please. And, of course, last and definitely not least are your soups. A lot of people are going to be packing a couple of packs of ramen in there. That's excellent. Ramen's great. It takes like 10 seconds to cook, and you can have that from there. You don't even have to cook it to be eat it. Yeah, I know it sounds sort of weird, but some people really like the ramen crunchy. 
However, for those who are trying to get away from the ramen, you can go in and grab any kind of pretty much canned soap you want. Especially if you can get something with a pop-top lid. You don't want to be messing around with a can opener. I mean, yeah, it's fun, it's easy, and it's not really that hard to throw a can opener into the backpack. But you want to try to limit your space as much as possible. And a pop-top can with a, non with a ceramic bowl is excellent. It's quick, it's easy, and better yet, it also is one of the few items I've given you that will actually help rehydrate you. And after a day on the floor, hey, anything that re gives you a little bit more liquid is definitely not to be underappreciated. So there you have it. Make sure you've got a meal kit. Make sure you've got something for salad, sandwiches, soup, and maybe a few other things here and there. It's not that hard to pack, and it will keep you going for the entire time you're at the convention. Also, remember something with a little bit of sugar. Again, you're going to appreciate that little boost of energy. Thank you, and have a great day.